Hey folks, Trace Monk here, playing the Talus Principle. We're currently in the Floor 4 puzzle room, and I realized that part of the problem with me and my ups is that there were more ups I could get. And I'm sorry if that terminology, you know, annoys you, but it happens. Anyway, come over here, take this. Almost like it should be obvious that they want you to like place something there come stand right here do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. and walk over here jump onto that and then jump Jump, 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 jump. funny the box is smaller until you place until you put it down on something <sighs> and there we go keys got ourselves like a little almost a maze of places back here and not that there's anything really happening there goes the gate because it's like hey you found the way <sighs> yes we have another device manager sacred numbers dot text and so, the blessed messenger revealed unto me the bones of New Jerusalem slumbering in the dust that was the body of Adam awaiting the day of resurrection. And lo and behold, within the dust was concealed a holy fire, and the fire, the sacred numbers of which the one you seek is floor, floor pass <laughs> 479. And I perceived that with the holy fire and the sacred knowledge of numbers and sigils, the rekindling. So the password for floor 5 is 479. <sighs> 16. A second awakening in. Fires burned here, but beyond the incense, she could smell the cold wind from the kingdom of Artemis, where. Output error log, not text. But I am not Hephaestus, you see, for though I wield his hammer and know the secrets of his forge, I am not lame, and neither am I a god. Who are you then, they said. Remember. I don't know if anyone's ever going to read this, but if you do, if we succeeded, then I want you to know that Alexandra stayed until the last moment. I'm leaving too tired, too broken, desperate for a few moments of peace with my remaining loved ones. But she's still there, and she won't give up. And yes, there are thousands like her all over the world giving everything they have because they believe in humanity, but she's the one that I know as a real person, a colleague, a friend. I know that she likes peanut ice cream and hates strawberry, that her favorite band is Pink Floyd, that her favorite poet is Blake, that her favorite TV show is Futurama, that studied at Cornell that her dad's name was Carl that her mom's name was I don't know if I should be ashamed for leaving but I know that I'm proud of her she was the best of us remember her I wonder if that was Arcady I wonder if that was Arcady if he actually gave up before the end and left we want 479 <clears throat> Code 
accepted. Unlocking. Exit this utility. Exit. Okay. Onward and upward. piece puzzle that oh my goodness I'm gonna just start by assuming that these go in the corners but they probably don't Like by default, there doesn't work. Uh. These don't generally make nice geometric patterns or anything like that, but eh, you know. Maybe like that. Except that there's nothing that can actually go in those sides there. <coughs> no, not unless you put something like that there. Potentially asking for trouble. But you're certainly asking for trouble. Uh. Yeah. 
something that I tried really early on. Yeah, it doesn't work because, you know, you put those out to the sides and... and yeah, there's like nowhere to go. <coughs> kind of occasionally hate about these is that there's, there's one of those things where I feel like if I knew how to play Tetris better, which if you saw um, AGDQ at the beginning of this year, that's awesome games done quick, it's a big speedrunning charity event. Um, they had a group of uh, insanely well, um, in, in, in insanely, they had some insanely well done Tetris Grandmaster, uh, wait, did I just, no, no, you're the wrong direction, why do you have to be the wrong direction, so close. close, but yeah, that, that requires some insane knowledge and very fast uh, pattern recognition. If I had like some crazy skills like them, that this would be no problem. Be no problem for me.
doesn't work. That don't work either. Oh my goodness. There's only a certain amount of struggling that I'm going to do with this because, seriously. doesn't work. Nice ominous music here for the tower. for long. There we go. All right. Good deal. <clears throat> no, 
now unlocked four or five. And we have an audio log right as soon as we get through here. What is this? It's a skull. I, uh, I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I, I think this... Uh, this is it. Um, the end of... Uh, me. I... I don't believe that I will continue to exist. I... I would like to, to think that there is a... A soul or spirit, some part of my consciousness that will persist. Uh, but all, uh, all the evidence says that when my brain dies, I will be gone. Uh, I've lived my life never turning away from the truth, even if it scares me. And I can face this, face my own end, and, and say with absolute conviction that it was good to be human. Ooh. Of course they have to bring in minds on this puzzle. Okay, well, <laughs> funny thing, Uriel here usually has something to do with some stars. Fortis Fortuna Aduviet. Now, I don't know where that's necessarily from, but if you actually scan it, it says, Nulla e reale tutto e lecito requiescat in pace. I've heard a bit about some of the stuff here, and this is a really big window. Just kind of, you know, out here. And, uh... I'm kind of wondering. You know what? I probably should have just leapt out the window. Pigeons. I had leapt out the window. Would have jumped about here. Am I gonna land on something? No. Dang. Okay, this time we'll just try jumping out the window. I have to call the elevator. Oh, did I notice these before? Returning from the tower, I feel a great tiredness and enormous energy. What I know now dis what I now know disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge I may provide a shoulder for you, the giants of tomorrow. The view from the top must be incredible. Yeah, probably. Back up. <clears throat> you know what? I'm thinking about it here. You know what? That ledge with pigeons on it looks a whole lot more like the like the towers from an Assassin's Creed game, especially with the birds on it. So, maybe we did need to go out there on that. But we needed to go, you know, from that particular point. Let's line it up. And down. And, ooh! Right into a hole. 
with a star. Alright, still gotta call the thing down two floors. Take a quick look at this, but we're not going to try too much solutioning here. Okay. So we're kind of on a floor below things here. A fan and a fan. That fan isn't doing anything. that for a wait so we can get the stuff from over there and where do we go from there I mean I suppose can't really see very well over there but maybe there's a way through there oh crap <laughs> I stepped on the switch oops and with that that's it for this episode of the Talos Principle. Thank you for joining me. Please come again.